Uh, hello, this is Miss Lori. Uh, she's going to she's an esthetician here at Skin Cancer Cosmetic Dermatology Center. She's going to take us through some of the products offered here. Okay, so it's summertime's coming, and let's look at sunscreens. The first one up on the list is LTMD Broad Spectrum 45 UV Arrow. So tell us about that one, Lori. How does it compare to the one beside it? Um, that's only a 30, and it says Broad Spectrum. How, how would I use those differently? One says full body, the other says full body. So the biggest difference would be this is arrow, so it's a spray, oh. and it's also water resistant up to 80 minutes, where this one is more like a lotion, a pump, and it is not water resistant. So this one would be more your active, like if you're going to the pool, the beach, sports, things like that. What I find interesting about these, these are not chemical blockers, are they? Are they physical blockers with zinc and titanium, is that right? That's true. Which, having that in a spray, that's pretty unique, isn't it? Right, the biggest thing though that people, um, don't fully understand with the spray is you want to make sure you shake it really well. The spray is of course this one. Yes. Okay. Just shake it really well because the zinc does, it seems to go to the bottom and once you spray it on you also want to rub it in because a lot of people just spray and go and so they miss some areas so you still want to rub that in when you spray it. Very important point, very important point. What, that's nice. Um, one of the things I noticed on the physical blockers with zinc and titanium that can be pasty. Is this one still pasty once it comes out? So these two actually are not. Um, we do offer one, it's on the other end down there, it's the Sport. Mm -hmm. And it, however, is a little bit more on the pasty side. It's a little more thick, per se, um, but it is water resistant as well. So. Okay, so it's a better blocker. Just a little yeah. though, it's only, it's SPF of 50 versus SPF of 45. So True, that's yes. Different. Tell me about UV Clear. How would we use that one? So it, facial. UV, UV Clear is um, designed for the face. It is for people that have more sensitive skin, rosacea, um, acne, hyperpigmentation. So, and it is a light, like an oil-free. And it comes in, this one's actually a tinted formula, or we comes in one that is not tint. Now, where's the tinted one? Um, this one is the tint, and I actually do not have one up here of the non-tinted, but it's the same formula, it's just one's tint and one's not. Okay. It says UV clear though, so. Yeah, that's just kind of the, they all have their own special little name. So this one mm. is a, a clear, even though it does have color. Could this one be used with water? This one is not water resistant. Okay. So this would be your everyday use. Um, if you're looking more for beach, that would be over here at your elements. I see tinted now. Yeah, the tinted is at the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So over here you said? Yes. So with this one, this is the elements. This one is also a tinted, but it is water resistant up to 80 minutes. Oh yeah. And it or says, that one's 40. It says tinted also. Yeah, 40 minutes. Nice. So I could use this one in the water? Yes, that one can go in the water. What about these here? So your sheer, it is also um, water resistant and it would be a little comparable to the elements. However, it doesn't have the tint. So if you're looking for something without a tint, you would go more for the sheer. If you want something that has a little bit of coverage, you would do the tint. Nice, nice. Dropping down to he, here, I see vitamin C creams a lot and I have patients ask me about them quite often. So what's the value of a vitamin C cream in general? In, so a vitamin C cream is full of antioxidants, so it helps against like free radicals, pollution. It also helps kind of boost up your sunscreen some. It brightens the skin and it adds moisture to it. I see. Does it help with dark uh, circles under the eyes? It can. Um, that's not really its main goal, but it actually it can kind of help lighten up the skin and even out the sun, even out the complexion. What do you recommend for the dark circles under the eyes? So dark circles under the eyes would be um, tiamine. I was looking, I think I'm sold out of the tiamine. Mm -hmm. Tiamine. Ti tiamine is an eye cream that helps with the puffiness, fine lines, but its target is the dark circles. Okay. Now, wh what is tiamine? What's its main ingredient, do you know? Its main ingredient is it has caffeine and vitamin K, arnica. I, I see, I see. Now, retinol complete. What's these retinols for here? So these retinols are more formulated for people for anti-aging, for fine lines, wrinkles. It will help some with some dark spots um, if used in combination with other products. But its main goal is to treat fine lines and wrinkles. 
And DJ, now isn't this for around the eyes or? So they sell a couple of different formulas of DEJ. They do have one that's a night cream. Um, they have one that's a day and night cream, and then they have one that's for eyes. Oh, I see. Right here, I see the I see the eye cream right yeah. there. And the cool thing with it is you can actually do it on the eyelid, where most eye creams are only under eyes. This one you can actually take on the eyelid itself. On the one that actually says eye cream. Yes. Now. How would DEJ be different than retinol? So DEJ, so retinol is a has vitamin A in it. Um, so it's a totally different product than DEJ. DEJ is more has more peptides in it that kind of help with the the dermal epidermal junction to give it moisture and kind of bounce it back into place. Where your retinol is more of a workhorse and it's turning your skin cells over. So if I want to for wrinkles. Uh, Rytids, what would I really focus on? The DJ, you think, or the retinol? I would go with the retinol. I see. Yeah. Also, though, I guess it's a little, is it more harsh on the skin, you think? The, retinol? the retinols can be. The cool thing with these, they have different buffers in them that kind of help buff that out so you don't have all the irritation where a lot of the other retinols or vitamin A's have that. So, like a generic tretinoin, for yes. example. Would, would not work as well, or not be as easy on the skin. Right. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes I'll have patients who will want to, you know, get a less expensive product, and they'll go with our, you know, our generic tretinoin. Right, correct. Yeah. So. And that one works well. It's just, like you said, it can be a little more harsh to the skin. All right, moving on here. Hydrating serum. Yes. So what about, what's hydrating serum? So hydrating serum is a moisturizer. Um, it is used, it's hyaluronic acid based, so it is used to kind of plump the skin to moisturize it. And people with oily skin, that's their go-to, is a hydrating serum. Okay, I see. And cleansing lotion. Yes. So we have the gentle cleansing lotion. It's for people with sensitive skin, mm -hmm. um, more mature skin. Um, it doesn't have the acids in it, whereas, say, with your brightening face wash, your brightening face wash has your glycolic and salicylic acid, so it can be a little irritating to the skin, but it definitely helps brighten the skin. Um, versus your papaya. Oh, yeah. And your papaya, it goes, it's kind of your go-between between between your gentle and your brightening. It has a little salicylic acid in it, but it doesn't have the glycolic. So it would kind of fit in between the gentle and the brightening. Yes, okay. yes. Interesting. I yes. love it. Now, IntelliShade. Tell me about IntelliShade. There's original and then there's the matte. Yes. Okay. Um, we actually also have another one called True Physical, which I don't have up here. But IntelliShade Original, these are, in t they are tinted sunscreen moisturizers. So they're kind of, they kind of have a bunch of different ingredients in one. It has a little bit of vitamin C, vitamin E. Um, it definitely moisturizes the skin. It's your sunscreen. And it also, um, with these, they have a little tint. The original would be for dry to normal skin, and the matte would be for people with more oily skin. And that's what I notice. I, I tell patients a lot when I'm giving this to them for, you know, like melasma yes. or just uh, lentigines or PIH or something on their face. Yes, definitely. If they're oily, I would give them matte. Right. Not oily, I'd give them original. Right. Okay. If they're kind of that in between, like I said, we do have one that's called True Physical. It's kind of the balance between the original and the matte. So a lot of people like it as well. And you were telling me about this one earlier. This one is the same. It's also IntelliShade, and the new box has the IntelliShade written on it, but it's it doesn't have the tint. Is that right on this right. last one? So it was called Multi Protection. They've changed the name to now it's IntelliShade Clear. It's the same formula as these. The biggest difference is this does not have a tint to it. So some people like the tint, some don't. It's just your preference. Um, but this one, it's the same thing. Awesome, awesome. Moving down. And here's where I really find uh, something very useful for my patients. I probably give this to almost every acne patient, uh, is the Joseph soap. I love this soap. Yes. What about, what's so special about Joseph soap? So Joseph soap is really good, like you said, to control acne for the clogged pores, uh, blackheads. And the cool thing with this is usually sulfur smells really bad, and this one actually smells really good. And um, someone with really oily skin, they're going to like this because it kind of helps balance that skin out. And, and it is for the treatment of acne. Yes. And I actually, also for rosacea, too, can, yes. can be helpful. Uh, it says oily to normal skin. I find most patients do well with this. Now, one of the things I, I tell my patients is there are less expensive versions because this is, I think, 
twelve dollars at Amazon, yeah. something like that. Yeah, and of course, we sell it similar here. Mm -hmm. um, but the odor for the less expensive version yes. is just not tolerable. Yes, so this it is, bad. I think, worth the money in okay. most cases. Here's some of my favorites is the, the tretinoin, 0.05 and 1.1%. This is really helpful for patients who don't have insurance, maybe. Correct. So I like these. And, of course, this is what for acne? and Acne. Um, I actually sell this also to people for anti-aging use as well. Um, okay. If they want something that's a little cheaper, the biggest thing would be the skin toleration. This one is not going to be as, I guess you would say, as smooth on the skin. You could have some irritations with it where... The other brand you may not have as much, but it works basically just the same. And then this is one of my favorites here because I'm sure we've all heard of Triluma. This is like a, a version of Triluma, even though it's a different name. And it's hydroquinone. And I think, the, is it 5% or 4%? It's 5%. It's 5%. 5 so it's even higher hydroquinone than, than Triluma. It's got tretinoin. So, and then it has uh, hydrocortisone. So the three, three main ingredients you need for a skin bleaching cream, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what would you be using this for? Um, this is used a lot for um, hyperpigmentation, your brown spots. Um, we use it for melasma, really to treat anything brown. Okay. That's um, from sun damage, from acne scarring, to like I said, melasma. That, that's your go-to right there. You know, I always teach my patients when I give them this, is that unless you're going to use a sunscreen the next day, right. next morning, you're really wasting your time and wasting your money. Exactly. So you would want to pair it up with IntelliShade the next morning or another good sunscreen the next day. But the reason I like IntelliShade is it's going to it's going to hide that um it's going to kind of camouflage the discoloration. Is that right? right. Okay. Correct. That's what you've taught me in the past is how it camouflages the discoloration and of course this is going to help lighten the underlying discoloration yes. with the uh, pill and bleach cream. So this is uh, what's what's that's the, just the hydroquinone by itself, where this is just a four percent hydroquinone, and then this is your more of your compound. Okay, I see. So, what are these over here? This Avene product. So Avene is our go-to line when it comes to more sensitive skin per se, um, people with eczema, psoriasis. Um, contact derm, just really sensitive skin, a lot of times rosacea patients. This is kind of our go-to line. We have anything from thermal spring water to a cleanser, retinols, um, vitamin C's. So this one is uh, thermal spring water. And what would, what would I use that one for? So thermal spring water is a really cool thing. Um, the can actually stays cold. So even if you were at the beach and want to just kind of cool yourself off, you can spray that and you're going to come out with a cool mist. I see. Um, it can be used, I have a lot of patients that use it post laser treatment, that just use it, that have that constant flare with the rosacea, it calms their skin down. And then also um, people use it to set their makeup. So oh, instead of okay. using a makeup setter, they'll use this spray. Now this one, restorative protective cream, what's yes. that one? So Sickle Fate is a go-to when it comes to a restorative healing cream. It can be used for kind of the same thing, eczema. Um, you can use it when you have your sutures in, it, for burns. Um, it, it's just like one of those things, kind of like your aloe plants at home. It's your go-to for restorative. I see some value in this one, for sure. And Sickle Fate Hand. Now, this one I've used personally. I love, I love this one. You can yes. like wash and it still stays on. Yes, yes. This one is, I believe they say up to five washes. You should be able to, you know, once you put the cream on, you can wash up to five times and you're still being protective. And it has a lot of the same ingredients as the plain Sickle Fate. It just has a few additives to it to make it like a hand cream. Hydrants, rich... So we have two different ones in the hydrants. This would be a lot like your hydrating serum out of the line that we showed before. Um, it's just a really good moisturizer. Um, it's something that you can be used morning and night. You can actually use these products with Accutane. Okay. So a lot of times with Accutane patients, you know, they can't use some things because it irritates the skin. This is very gentle, but it will put a lot of moisture into the skin. I see. Clean AC. Um, kind of the same thing. The Clean AC actually comes with a cleanser as well in the back there. Um, that's kind of what we call our Accutane kit. So the cleanser, the Clean AC cream, and then there's a chapstick 
um, that we tend to sell a lot to Accutane patients because their skin's so dry, and this is just something that's very soothing to their skin. Mm. Yeah, I've had several patients uh, purchase this, and they say it helps them a lot. Mm-hmm. Retinol, ret, what's that? Retrin, retinol AM? eyes. Oh, so okay. this is a retinol that can be used up under the eyes. So instead of um, a typical eye cream, this can be used to kind of help fight fine lines and wrinkles. And also, um, it helps a lot of people have like the little milia the little acne under the eyes, it helps a lot with that. See, this is really nice. Now, how would this be different than the DEJ eye cream? So the DEJ eye cream is targeting more for just like fine lines, anti-aging, um, where your retinol eyes is combating more of, of course it's helping with the fine lines and wrinkles, but it's combating more like acne or sometimes people get the little clogged pores up under their eyes, the little milias, things like that. So that's actually helping with that. Good, good, good. I find, I, I see, I didn't realize that. I'm going to start recommending this to my patients. And then the uh, A-oxidative. So this is their vitamin C. Instead of mm-hmm. calling it a, instead of calling it vitamin C, it's an A-oxidative. Um, it comes in a serum and then that one is the cream. Um, they're both kind of creamy, just the serum's a little bit more lightweight than this one. Um, for the price point, this is an amazing product. It does help brighten the skin. It is moisturizing, um, and it does. it is a little cheaper than your typical vitamin C's. Lori, thank you so much. We've covered the first three levels here, and we will come back and do the other levels another day. Sounds but good. Appreciate your thank you. help. Thank you. <laughs>